Do you ever see multiple values in a field that you can't sort or group by? They really need to be separated in a way that cross-references them back to the original record. I'm giving you some VBA to make that super simple. Hi, this is Crystal. First, I'll explain a little about an application I'm developing and the problem that I ran into. I have this dream of using access to manage my website and page content. The pages are written in HTML, Hypertext Markup Language, and consist of elements. Elements have a start tag and an end tag, so I have a table to define tags, and here it is, still in progress. As I was putting the data in, I saw that it would be nice to identify tags for formatting text, like bold, italic, and underline. What to call it? That's often one of the hardest problems. A short text field for category was created called cat. But all the tags don't fit into a single category. Sometimes there's overlap, and a tag might be in more than one category. For purposes of getting the data in, the field name got changed to cats. When there's more than one value, they're separated with a comma. Do you have data that looks like this? The problem is that I can't make a list by category and then tag name. I can list it by tag and look at the categories. I can filter all the tags in a specific category. The text format tags are also inline tags, even though all that data isn't filled out yet. I can filter for more than one category. But again, the data is always by tag. What can be done to solve this? Each category needs to be in a table for categories. Then there needs to be a cross-reference table to associate each tag with its category or categories. It doesn't matter what these tables are called or what kind of data they have. The problem is the multiple values, and this is a common problem. Here's the tag table. Here's the table for categories. The primary key is cat ID. The primary key of the tags table is tag ID. The cross-reference table has foreign keys for tag ID and cat ID, and there's also a unique index on that combination. To make this more general, let's call the first table, with the data we want to separate, Table 1. The field to separate is Text Field 1. The primary key is PK1. Table 2 is the Category table, which doesn't have any records yet. The field we want to put data into is Text Field 2. Its primary key is PK2. Table X will be the cross-reference table, which also doesn't have any records. Here are the relationships. We know everything we need to set up the VBA code I'm sharing with you to separate the values and make records in each of the empty tables. Here's the module with all the magic code. The top procedure is to launch it. All you have to do is fill in your table names and your field names. Debug, compile. And if there's any errors, fix them and compile again till nothing happens. Save it. Now run. It's done. Here's the message box telling me that 94 records were separated from the tag table, 14 records were added to the category table, and 145 records were added to the cross-reference table between tags and categories. <laughs> That's a lot quicker than it would have taken me to do it by hand. It doesn't look like anything happened, though. Ah, that's because the tables are open and the data needs to be refreshed. I added Refresh All to my Quick Access Toolbar, which 
You can also get my QAT. I'll put a link to it in the video description. And here's all the records. This is a huge time saver. Once the data is verified, the cats field can be deleted from the tag table. So what happened? The code looped through each record in the tag table. If the cats field had data, it separated them if there was more than one and added each value to the category table. The first record has one value. Comment got added to the category table and its cat ID is 15. The tag ID is 1 and the cat ID is 15. And then a record was created in the cross reference table with tag ID 1 and cat ID 15. For tag ID equals 3, there is one category in line which got added to the category table and a cross reference record was made. For tag ID equals 4, there are two categories. Quotation and citation is new, so it got added to categories. Inline was already there because of the last record, and it wasn't added again. The cross-reference table shows both records for tag ID equals 4, one for quotation and citation with cat ID equals 17, and one for inline with cat ID equals 16. So it looks like the code did a pretty good job. Now we can make a query with tags in each category, something we couldn't do before the data was normalized. In the category table, some of the entries are proper case and some aren't. It would be good to be consistent. To access, upper and lower case are the same, so ABC in uppercase equals ABC in lowercase, and little m big ID equals big M little ID. It's interesting to see how different things look when you change the case. Anyway, the big advantage of having all these values in just one place is now you can edit just one value and it will ripple through. You can also count how many tags are in each category using a totals query, which is information we also couldn't easily get before. There are a lot of advantages to normalizing your data, and now one of your challenges just got a lot easier. You can download this code and run it yourself. Go to msaccessgurus.com, go to the code page, and then cross-reference. This solves the problem of having multiple values in a field in an easy, painless way. Download the cross-reference module, unzip it, import it into your database, customize the launcher sub, debug, compile, save, and run. Thanks for joining me. If you'd like to connect and work on your project together, visit msaccessgurus.com and contact me. I hope this helps you normalize your databases. Through sharing, we'll all get better.